Welcome. The following technical support video will show you how to properly remove the validation from your computer and add it back into your account for any of the multi-rib softwares that include the multi-rib hybrid and the multi-rib GP direct to garment software. The first thing you want to do is open up your blue and gray rip interface window. And up at the top, if you click on configure, you can go down to remove validation. When you click on the remove validation, it's going to ask you, are you sure you want to continue in removing the validation? And that'll print will have a watermark. Click yes. And then now it's going to say you're about to remove this validation and give verified again. Click yes. Now it's going to tell you that you removed your validation. It's going to give you a invalidation code listed right here. We're going to want you to go ahead and write that code down itself and keep it. Once you have that code written down, go ahead and hit OK. Now if you go back up to the top, you click on Configure, you'll notice that it still says Remove Validation. What you're going to have to do is close out of the RIP interface. Once you close out of the RIP interface, if you go back down and open up the RIP interface again, when it opens up, we're going to click on the Configure menu and you'll notice that we'll have validate software is available now. So now all of your prints are going to come out with a watermark on it. That means that you've successfully invalidated the software. Now what we need to do is go and put that code back into your account. So you'll go to the iProofSystems.com activation page or just click on the get activation link and then we'll go through and complete the form. Make sure that you complete all the necessary fields on the Ford, including your email address. And you are also going to need to have your product code. So go ahead and put in your 16-digit product code right here. After you clicked on the submit button, it'll bring you to this page. And you'll want to scroll down until you find the multi-rip or the multi-rip GP validation, whatever one you're going. This time, instead of validating the software, we're going to click on remove validation. It's going to bring you to a page very similar on how to remove the validation. And what you'll need to do is you'll need to go in and put your product code into it and then you're going to want to put in that removal code. Once you've gone and done that and you hit the submit button it'll come back in and it'll bring you in and give you what your product code is, what the removal code is. It'll have your number of validations that are maximum allowed and the number that's left. You'll notice that it'll add that validation back into your account. We recommend you doing this process anytime you plan on reformatting your hard drive or deleting the hidden validation folder so that way you do not lose an activation. If you have additional questions, please visit MultiRip's website at www.multirip.com and check, click on the FAQs page up at the top or call your distributor. Thank you.